Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Pixel Lab. I got a little bit of a cold today, so I apologize, but let's jump right into this tutorial. So this is about lighting in Octane, and I wanted to talk to you about the Octane Daylight and a couple of quick ways to use that. So right now we have a HDRI in our scene, and that's all that's being used to light this. So let's add a sunlight, and let's go ahead and re-render this. All right, so the first thing you'll notice is that we have two tags on here, and they kind of work a little bit differently, so I'm gonna walk you through those. Another thing you'll notice is that our HDRI is no longer showing up. So if we want to blend that back in under this yellow sun tag, we can go to mix sky texture and turn that back on. And now we're going to get that HDRI and we're also going to get the octane daylight working. So you can see if we kick up the power, the uh, power of the sun is affecting it. So let's reset that to default. And then you can change the color of the sun and some offset stuff here. But what I wanted to talk to you about is this other tag. And this is to show the sun's position in actual time. And we have a little clock here we can move around. Now this gets a little confusing because if we move this, nothing is actually changing. And the reason for that is that you have to go to the basic tab and then click enable. And if we do that, now this white tag is having effect. So if we go back to here, we can say change the month to something like in the summer. And now the lighting is completely different. And now we have access to this really cool sun slider where it's going to have the sun rising or setting based on where you put this. So the tip that I wanted to share with you is if you have a really cool scene, but you want to make it even more dramatic, a really great way to do that is to keyframe your light so that the sun is moving across your scene and the shadows are going to be casting and spilling as the sun moves. It's a really, really cool effect to add some drama. So all you would do is click on this keyframe for time and then go to the beginning and change your sunlight and change that, add another keyframe. And then when you play your animation, the sun is going to do this really cool time lapse effect. And I've actually done a render, so you can check that out. So this is without that effect. This is just straight lighting. It looks really nice. But if we wanted to add some more drama, we can keyframe that sun. And let's see what that looks like. So this is the one where the sun is keyframed across the scene. And you can already see how much more dynamic that is with the shadows kind of coming on and moving across your model. So that's just a really cool little tip if you guys want to add some more drama to your scene. Go ahead and add that sun tag, that daylight tag, and then use this white one and animate this position. You're going to get a really cool time lapse effect with your shadows. So I hope that gives you guys some tips on lighting and octane. As always, thank you for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao. I'm going to go drink some tea.